hey everyone welcome back to this channel uh, so last time what we did in this closed loop control we used a constant block of 1200 but what we want to you know do dynamic testing in that case we will have to use a signal builder and uh, for dynamic testing you can you know have a range of speed like 1200 1000 and 1400 and then you can do mm, the same testing and in this model so in order to do that let's first of all uh, have signal builder so i just you know have the signal builder tool right here i've used a different file but you can use the same file you just use signal builder to you know get this thing and a very important note is that the signal builder is not available in the you know later versions after 2022b i'm currently using 2021b so if you're using you know let's say 2024b or some newer versions than 2022b you will not find this signal builder so in that case you have to use some alternative uh, in the later parts cool so let's see that this is the default signal builder setting that you can get so first of all is that we have to decide on a time range the current time range is from 0 to 10 seconds now how, how can we change it to you know uh, for just 0 to 2 you can use access and change time range so very first of all I'll, you know just drag down this thing and just change it to 0 because we wanted <coughs> a default 0 thing for whole thing now first of all we want to do dynamic testing in dynamic testing we will going to use three speeds as seen here uh, and it's it's you know 1200 a thousand and a 1400 so how can we do that for doing that first of all let's break down that so uh, for first 0 0.7 seconds so i'll change the time range to just 0 0.7 seconds and then tap on ok this has to be at 1200 so i'll just you know drag up and then click single click and you can change the value to 1200 and tap enter now i want the speed again decrease to a, a thousand for 1.5 seconds so i cannot you know just do 1.5 and change it so before that just you know slide this end point a bit and then again going to access change time range to 1.5 if you don't do this do this thing you will not get this point so in order to create this point we'll have to do you know the adjustment now again just drag down a bit single click and drag down and leave your cursor now just single tap once again you will get this red highlighted area and just change it to a thousand enter good so you know this has to be it again 1200 exact so this is not at 1200 exact i'll just do it and enter cool now the last part is that again at uh, two second up until two second i want it to again pump up to 1400 so i'll again change this endpoint to a bit up axis change time range to again two second and okay now as you can see here the point is created and i'll just drag up a bit single click change it to 1400 enter now this point is you know not at correct space so i'll just go to thousand enter so yes our designated or even a dedicated signal builders made from 1200 to thousand to again 1400 just tap ctrl s to save it or you can save it from here as well I'm, i use ctrl s and it is saved you know the, the aster mark is gone which means this is saved now just close it and uh, uh, where was it yeah double tap to see it and yes it is a i'll change the stop time to just two second run the model to you know just re-verify that is it seen on the scope yes correct now what i get i'll do is just ctrl c go to my main closed loop file go to the main closed loop file and uh, you know paste here the signal builder and uh, i'll not delete this constant block because a professor says that never <laughs> delete any block just cut it and paste it on the side i don't know uh, it's the reason it's a ritual that i do now connect it back again here and run the model uh, nothing has been changed from the previous model so if we again run again we'll see that uh, yeah the tracking is done uh, it's at uh, 1200 in the beginning again a thousand and again pumped up to 1400 uh, now uh, uh, an interesting thing that i would like to you know again show is that in this experiment the scope has some you know uh, background colors different the tracking is done the, the labeling is done so in order to do that same thing uh, what we can do is just right click here go to styles then uh, you can just you know change the color to white white and black and just tap on apply now as soon as you do this uh, you know you will get this option now we'll have to do the labeling all right so this is the signal builder uh, and i want that to be in red 
the reference has to be in red. I'll change the width to you know two point line has to be dotted. Now if I do apply, yeah, you can see here. You can see, let's see a better this dot and dash. Yeah, see, it has been done. Now I'll just go to gain. Now there's again we'll keep it at let's say blue only. Dark blue, change it to two. It has to be and apply. See, it is done. Now in order to again you know have uh, labeling you can say you can just tap on view and legend and you can see and in order to change the naming of it what you can do is that just simply go to the closed loop file and double tap on the signal and say reference and actual all right now again once again run the model and see uh, the naming has been changed to reference and actual you can also change the time to let's say three seconds enter the run to you know see that uh, is it tracking or not properly okay uh, now yes uh, let me show you one thing is that after a particular point it's dropping down drastically no, if you if you face this kind of problem in not just this thing but uh, in in any other case what i will suggest you is to just change the load to not 25 but let's say 22 enter and again run it and uh, if you see again the results yeah see uh, the dropping is, is gone and uh, yeah it's taking at 1400 because of high speed i mean the it could be possible that it may not be able to get that amount of load so yeah that's it Thanks for watching and thanks. Bye-bye.